To log in to the Reading Horizons Elevate Administration Portal as a site administrator, click the Administrator Login in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Enter your username and password and press Login. The Class Role tab is selected by default each time you enter the Administration Portal. If you do not see a Class Role tab, we recommend you watch the Account Administrator tutorial first and then watch this video. The Class Roll tab has two options, Students and Groups. The Students option is selected by default. The Student tab shows all of the students that have been added to the site. This list can be sorted by any of the column headers and can also be filtered by Instructor or Student Group. You can also add, edit, or delete student groups here as well. To add a student, Click on the Add Student button. To create a student, you will need to provide a first and last name, a unique login, and the student's grade level. You will also need to assign the student to an administrator. The unique login name should be something that is easy for the student to remember. Students will need to use this login to access the software. If the student is an English language learner, check the ESL box and then select the appropriate language from the Language Track drop-down box. Enabling this feature will provide the student with native language narration in the selected language. Please note that this option is only available if a language pack has been purchased. The language packs that are available for purchase are Spanish, Mandarin Chinese, Japanese, and Haitian Creole. The Advanced Settings button at the bottom corner of the page provides access to most of the settings that determine what the student has access to and when. To learn more about each setting, hover over the question mark on the right. A couple of things to note selecting student settings. Number one, if games are disabled, the Games tab will not be shown on the student dashboard. Number two, enabling color overlays provides a drop-down section for the student when they log in. Students can also be assigned to groups at this time. Click on the Gray Groups tab and select the group or groups to which this student will belong from the list on the right. Then press the arrow button to complete the association with the group. The last item to cover when adding a student is the Overrides tab. Be aware that overriding lessons is discouraged unless deemed absolutely necessary. The competency-based nature of the software adapts the student's lesson sequence to best fit the student's needs in order to maintain an appropriate pace for the students. However, when overriding lessons is found to be necessary, the following instructions are provided to do so. The Overrides tab is divided into six chapters. The lessons for each chapter are listed in the order in which they will be presented. Lessons with a green check mark indicate the lesson has been completed. Black indicates a lesson that has been overridden. Yellow indicates the current lesson. Gray means the lesson is yet to be completed. To override a particular lesson, click on the lesson and then select the Override button. To set a lesson as the next lesson, click the Set Next Lesson button. Please note, that any uncompleted lesson prior to the new next lesson will be overridden. To clear a lesson that has been overridden, select the lesson and then click Clear Override. If the student has progressed past the lessons for which the override has been cleared, then that lesson will be set as the next lesson for that student. If you would like a student to retake a lesson that has already been completed, Select the desired lesson and then select Reset Lesson. The Reset Lesson will be set as the next lesson for the student. Click Save Student to save the student information. To edit the settings for a single student, double-click on the desired student. To edit multiple students at the same time, select the desired students while holding the Shift or Control key and then click the Edit Multiple Students button on the left. Please note changes or edits will not be applied to any students that are logged in during the edit event. To create groups, click the Groups tab. When the Group option is selected, 
you can add, edit, or delete groups. A list of the existing groups is shown listing the group name, the group owner, and the number of students in each group. To edit a group, double-click on one of the groups in the list. Here you can change the name of the group, the group owner, and the students assigned to the group. To add new students, select from the available students on the right and drag and drop them to the group list on the left. To select multiple students at one time, click on a student and then press and hold the Shift or Control key while selecting other students. To remove students from a group, just reverse the process. When all the desired changes have been made, click the Save Group button. A student's assessment data can be found under the Reports tab. The default report that will appear is the Class Role Report. This report shows student data in a table format. By clicking on the different options in the right-hand corner, you can filter the data by instructor, group, grade, or view the full list of students. This report shows assessment scores and lesson progress for each individual student, or based on which filters are set, the average progress and scores for all of the students assigned to a given instructor, group, or grade level. When the instructor group or grade level filter are selected, double-click on an instructor, group, or grade level to reveal the student names and data associated with each category. To view data for each individual student, double-click on a student's name from the class role report. Doing so will take you to the student summary report. By clicking on different sections of this report, you will be shown additional student data, including the Lexile Measure Report, Progress Monitoring Report, Lesson Summary Report, Vocabulary Summary Report, and Library Summary Report. Most of these reports provide an option to view the report in chart or data format by selecting the options in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Options to print or save a copy of a report and to export data are available by clicking on the buttons in the top right-hand corner. You can also choose to filter class role report data by clicking on the column heading you wish to sort. More detailed data for lessons, vocabulary, and library performance can be viewed by clicking on the data charts in the corresponding reports. To manage the administrators associated with the site, select the Administrators tab. Here you are shown a list of all the current administrators, their email addresses, and the administration role they have been assigned. Site administrators have access to the site or school to which they are assigned, as well as all instructors or students within that site. There should only be two or three active site administrators at any given time to avoid duplication of efforts and or conflicting activities. Instructors have access to the site or school to which they are assigned, and they can only edit the students assigned to them. To add an administrator, click on Add Administrator. Provide the requested information and select the desired administrator role. Click Save Administrator when you are finished. You will need to communicate the username and password to any new administrators before they can access the portal. Under the Advanced tab, you can set up email reports for the administrators associated with your account, as well as any individual you wish to receive the monthly class role report through email. To activate this setting, click the Email Reports option from the left hand side of the screen. At the top of the screen, you can add any individual that you wish to receive the report, or you can select the administrators that are already set up to manage the software from the middle section of the screen. Once you've selected the name of the person you want to receive email reports, the site reports that are available will be displayed. Drag and drop which reports you want to be emailed. To save these settings, select the Save Selected Reports button. From the Advanced tab, you can also import and export student data. You can also change the audio quality for the entire site under Other Settings. 
We recommend leaving the quality high, unless there are bandwidth concerns, or if the lessons take a long time to load. Also under other settings is the current users list. Occasionally, a student's account may remain logged in, even after they have exited the software. To log the student off, select the desired student, and then select Reset Student. Use caution when using this feature. If a student is using the software while they are reset, they will lose some of their most recent data. To log out from the administration portal, click Logout in the upper right-hand corner.